Um, I'm just sharing my screen parallelly while I start my presentation. Hope it is visible. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so today I am talking about AI capability in Power BI. So I am just taking a very simple case uh, and not going to any kind of complicated aspects, a very simple use case of uh, AI capabilities in, embedded within Power BI. So first, when I just ask Google, what is Power BI? It gives me all these things. It gives me some fancy jargons like data discovery, collaboration, and whatnot. It may look so complicated, but to put it in simple words, what is Power BI? Power BI is a tool which will help you convert data in this format to this format. So from this boring Excel format of black and white numbers, you can have the data put into beautiful charts and statistical analysis. And it's not just the beautification part, it also helps you do a lot of analysis. Now, when I show something like this, although it looks beautiful, many people must be thinking this must involve a lot of technical knowledge. I need to probably learn a lot of Power BI uh, tools and aspects before I'm able to do something like this and get my required output out of Power BI. So today I'm going to talk about small tools in Power BI, which does not require you to do so many things and still you're able to make use of it. You don't have to be an expert in Power BI, but still have a use case scenario where you'll be able to use Power BI. And that is why my topic for today is use of Power BI and its AI capabilities for doing some financial analysis and using the quick insights and the Q&A option embedded within Power BI. Let me show you a simple data that I am considering for this. This is a basic sales data you may find in any small business or anything, and I'm keeping it very simple. The basic things like the order ID, product, location, sales, value, and all that. And then what I do, I am using this and include incorporating into a Power BI document. So when I put the basic data and give it like a chart, it's giving me this kind of an output, which again looks a little uh, boring or a little not too appealing. Then I use the other av available options and I am able to create something like this. So here you can see it's a very good pictorial representation of the sales. So the first one talks about the country-wise sales. Then you can see it is talking about the product-wise sales. And then you can see it is talking about the month-wise sales. Although this looks beautiful, when I'm going and presenting it to someone, nobody is going to go look deep into this chart, find out what is this product, which product made more profit, which product made less profit. So again, it becomes a task for me to sit and type it and summarize it and present it to uh, maybe a layman or maybe your client, whoever is not too much well-versed into this kind of activity. So to avoid that kind of thing, there is an option in Power BI, which is called a smart narrative. And as the name suggests, it is smart, meaning it has an AI embedded into it. So on this side, you have over here. So when I click on this, something like this appears. Um, it's just taking a second. So something like this appears. So what I have done, I have already done the same thing with a better format so that it is better visible when I uh, present it. So over here, you can see whatever data is over here on the top, it has been summarized in words. You may think, you may have thought that I have probably written this down initially for better understanding, but no, this was generated automatically by Power BI. And another beauty to this is, this is not fixed. Anytime you make changes in the data, this is going to update and you can just use that data to do your pre further presentation. Not just changes in the base data, you can also apply filter onto this Power BI presentation itself. Now, for example, in this particular sheet, I have country-wise, product-wise, month-wise, but I don't, but I'm seeing this on an overall basis. What if I want to analyze one specific thing? Let's say I want to analyze the data for USA. So as soon as I click on this, you can see everything in the sheet is changing. You can see this product wise sales is updated, month wise is updated, and you can also see that the numbers below have updated. They are not the same that it was before. I can similarly apply this for a product. Maybe I'll just click, you can see the changes everywhere in the file now. So I'm just clicking and you can see here also, you can see it is loading and it has updated in maybe a second's time. So this is not just a pictorial representation love like how we do in PPT wherein you know it is stagnant. Here you can just make the changes. You can immediately get the data and this is just the basic data. You can customize it as per your requirement, add more fields to it and make it more usable for your day-to-day -day requirement.
uh now when i do something like this i'm sure many of you must be thinking are yaar this power bi is for all those people who do high level financial analysis or part of very big companies also if i want to do this even with my simple data i need to first learn power bi i need to learn how to put data into it how to get all these charts and colorful things and only then i will get this that is a wrong perception there is another option in power bi which does not require you to know all these technicalities it is just a very simple thing which is available right next to this smart narrative option and it is called q and a and as the name suggests it is nothing but a simple q and a i ask question to power bi and it replies me so i have just clicked on it and let's just wait for it to load so here you see this is come this also can be customized and made look beautiful as per our requirement i am just keeping it as it is for time being and i have just pre drafted some questions for our easy reference so i am just asking it what is your product with highest sale in march 23 so it is saying coffee what if i want to cross verify it what if i want to really know if coffee is the one so i can just go to this place you can see here i hope it is visible that coffee is in blue color and i can also see if i just put my cursor here coffee has contributed 7.88% of the sale and all these other things are in the descending order so you can see all the other things are going lower meaning coffee is the highest contributor and what language i have used very simple i don't have to write anything more or anything technical i am just simply asking what is the product with the highest sale in march i don't even have to mention anything more the very simple things that we need to uh, remember while drafting question is the power bi understands only these headings now for example i have order id if instead of order id if i want to call it order number it is not going to understand because according to it in this particular table it is called order id so or if this is called product and not some item or anything like that so i need to use the same terminology when i am drafting the question that is the only thing i need to keep in mind maybe i can ask some other question and see if it is answering so you can see i am asking which is the lowest sale or which product has the lowest sale and it is quickly able to answer me similarly maybe i can just um ask something a little different so it says month with uh, least sale in the product coffee so it says so this is the value and this is the month it's giving me all the details so this makes my life very simple and i just need to uh, draft the question just in the right way and have the data uploaded in the right way i don't even need to do all of these things now it may seem like you know this is probably used only by people who have a lot of data who have a lot of analysis what am i going to do i am just a ca in practice or i am just having a startup that is a wrong notion about power bi power bi can be used in many situations it can be anybody and in any kind of activities we can use so just to illustrate that i'll just show you Mention. another example 2 yeah. minutes remaining sure so i'll show you another example wherein i have this data let's assume this is a ca firm who are having this uh, client related sales and they have just categorized their uh, customer based on uh, the turnover that they are giving so i have created this uploaded this into another uh, power bi i did nothing i just selected this excel workbook option and selected uh, uploaded this data selected the file and uploaded let me ask a simple question to it if there is any client with total value more than 50 lakhs and i have categorized it as medium because according to me a medium customer is someone who is less than 50 lakhs and more than 50 lakhs is large this is just my internal uh, classification to understand how much importance i need to give to each client so it says there is one client who is ca categorized as medium but has a turnover more than or say revenue contribution more than 50 lakhs i can just re-verify this in the pivot i have put for easy easy reference and it does says 52 lakhs so how does this help me so when a partner of a firm analyzes data like this without knowing power bi simply puts the q and a option put this he is able to know what kind of preparedness he he should have for the client he can devote more resources to this or maybe he has to give more attention to this particular client understand what is this new business that is coming and he can have all kind of preparedness usually we may just go and ask the accountant why did you not intimate me that there is so much sales to this particular customer or client and i should have been more prepared all those kind of things can be avoided if we simply use this q and a option in power bi and this power bi 
even if you're not someone into business, you can use it even in your own personal finance. Just upload your bank statement in the right format and ask Power BI, tell me where did I spend more during the month? Which particular shop did I spend more? Did I do more of shopping on clothes or eating? And it's going to give you the answer and you can always plan your personal expenses as well. So this was awesome. my illustration. Thank you so much.